So this is the tour. There's the gate. That's where the food is. Got to fix it up a little bit. Might move it to another spot so it's out of the way out here. Put it back by the back gate, but it's all right. This is a shade spot for the afternoon. With the logs for the girls, usually the goats are the ones jumping up there. The water hole's still the same. Tarp broke down, so I got to put a new tarp up there. Uh, these were the logs from the two trees I got chopped down. And got most of the wood up out of here, except for the three big logs, but I don't have a chainsaw. But at the moment, the goats like, uh, they're like entertaining themselves on it. Actually, they uh, play a lot up back and forth. The king of the log, or queen of the log, I should say. Anyways, moving on. There are the girls eating. I put this uh, little tarp piece over the uh, egg basket. That way, in the late afternoons, with those trees gone, it doesn't get beat down so much. So, this thing's been here a little while now. I already got a hole in it, so I'm going to have to replace it um, the next month before uh, summer comes around. There's the coop. Hasn't changed. Still a raggedy door that I left before. Hasn't changed that up. Alright. I uh, do have the uh, carport now on the back side. Only got half of it up, so it's really just 10 feet. But I really don't want to need to extend it all the way back, and it's a little bit more difficult to deal with. Um, when the storms come through and it rains, so I got strings back, back and forth to keep it. That's helped it to uh, not blow away because I've had to put it back up a few times now. There's one of the uh, older um, coops that I've had here. There's the back door, so I'll open this out some days and let the girls just go roam around back here. Um, Obi's starting to get used to everybody now, so it's all good. There's the back side of the coop, so they have some protection. They can eat back here during the rainy time. That's the original coop that Gate originally bought. And sometimes they go up in there. I've caught one of the barred rocks sleeping in there, but I didn't put anything in there because I really don't want them sleeping in there. But anyways, girls still eating. So going into the um, goat section when I lock, want to lock them up. There's the old pin right here. So I already took the tarp off. I've left it up there because they still come. One of them still comes up here and eats, and they like sitting up there. So they like sitting up high, whether it's the one up front with the um, shading or this one. It's not totally secure as far as rain, but it does give them some shady parts to sit in. And this is the new um, goat pin. So I've got it laid out kind of like the coop uh, facing south. But instead of with the opening, I put this little um, sidewall here to help it out to keep it um, <clears throat> a little bit more closed in. And then I put the uh, goat feeder on the inside here. So now they come here, they can access their goat food, but it stays pretty dry. I hadn't had any issues with it getting wet. Um, I still need to close off the tops up there. But even with those um, tops, um, not being there looks like i got a, one popping out here i need to put in anyways even with the tops not being sealed it's uh stays pretty dry in there so um i need to give it some a little more attention to keep it from getting wet in here that way they got a totally secure side inside so um this is the inside i haven't painted anything made it fancy or anything but i do have the two big air vents i, I do have vents i'm gonna put up there so i need to seal those off Anyways, this is the inside. So, and they got um, log steps. Since I had all these logs laying around, I use those as steps going up and I put a couple boards on them. So, but it works out, they like climbing. Anyways, they like jumping on wood anyway, so it's all good. And then the girls come back here when it's open because they know that the goats have some good food that they like swimming around, so. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the new dig, that's what it looks like these days. So, only thing I'm really missing off the Cooper now is uh, my sign that I still gotta get the board, board for Lisa to put it up. And then I'll probably put one up for the goats. So, trying to get a few things done before summertime, and it'll be all good. Alright, well, that's five minutes of the chicken area. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to y'all later.